Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Wahawakakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, meaning coming in the name. Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Shao means name, Raka means holy, Kodash means spirit. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who will well and teach well because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and Shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you sincere sisters that's listening in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiaka Razaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this is a quick hit. And this lesson is going to be titled as the MOTB. The MOTB is this here. Or the MOTB is this here. That's what I'm going to title it as because I don't want to get a strike. So you have people out there, they don't believe that the MOTB is this here. They don't believe it's this here. And it is. So regardless if you believe, you got some that don't even believe in the MOTB. So regardless if you believe in the MOTB or not, you take this here, you're going to be destroyed. There is no repentance for taking the MOTB. Okay, there's no repentance for it. You got some groups out there taking that, saying that you can take it and then you, you, you know, there you can still be able to repent. You cannot repent. You take this here, there's no repentance for it. You're condemned and the Lord is going to destroy you. There's no repentance. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. We're going to get this out through the Spirit. And um, that's what this lesson is going to be about the MOTB. And we're coming into the time. Of the MOTB which will wind up being established and we're going to prove that Revelation 13 15 through 17 that's talking about a physical thing here that's not spiritual now there is a spiritual uh, a spiritual one right a spiritual M-A-R-K which that goes to Ezekiel 9 and 4 which is that Tawa all right which is that uh, sealing of the elect that's that spiritual M-A-R-K but right here this is a physical one which is Esau's beast system. Okay. And Lord willing, that's is edifying. This is Revelation 13, 15. And he had power to give life onto the image of the beast. Who is that he there? The central bankers. The high power elites. Okay. As you can see. They're the ones that's ruling today. The high power elites. The NATO. Right. The EU. The Roman Empire today. That's who they are. Right. They're that scarlet covered beast that's mentioned in Revelation, uh, I think it's 17 and 3, right? It talks about the seven heads and the ten horns. That's them, okay? And it says that he had power to give life onto the image of the beast. And that image is talking about his beast system, okay? That beast there is talking about the NATO, all right? The EU, okay? The Roman Empire today. It says that the image... Of the beast should both speak and cause as and cause as and cause as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. I'll read that again. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. See? So there's gonna be a time of civil and unrest. And it's gonna be a time where this here, I'm gonna show you, this here is going to be the new currency. You're not going to be able to survive in this society once this is established as the new currency. You're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to buy cash. You're not going to be able to do any of that or those things in this time. So these are the times that we are coming into. These are the times that we are coming into. Verse 16, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, as you can see here in this verse, 
you got to go to that word mark there. And when it says he is talking about the central bankers, they're going to declare a, a new uh, uh, system or a new currency, which is the CBDC. OK, and it says to receive a M.A.R.K. in their right hand or in their foreheads. So this is going to be mandatory. Now, they're not going to force you to get this because you have a lot of uh, individuals out there. They teach that. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this blue letter. Salakia. They teach that, um, you know, that they're going to force you. You got other Israelite groups saying that they're going to force you. They're not going to force you to. Uh, to take this they're not going to force you to take take this so hold on so like yeah i don't know what's wrong with my blue letter so like yeah i don't know what's wrong with my blue letter so let me see bear with me so like yeah i don't know what is wrong with my uh this app but so like yeah so you go to mean that word mark there Something is wrong with something was wrong with this. Strong's G fifty four eighty Haragma Haragma Strong's G fifty four eighty Haragma Haragma. See, so when you go into the media where mark there, it goes to G fifty four eighty, which is Karagma, a stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the bandage of the followers of the Antichrist. It says the mark branded upon the horses, the carved sculpture, graven work, the idolatrous image. So when you go into the meaning of that word M-A-R-K, it goes into G5480, which is, Kar which is Karagma, which is a stamp and imprinted mark. This is something that is literally physical. And this is it here. This is the MOTB. And if you take it, you're going to be destroyed. Everything that you have on your wallet is going to be documented and placed on this C-hip here. It's going to be put on this here. Everything that's, that you use in your wallet is going to be put on here. Your, your, your social security number, your driver's license, your health insurance, you know, um, everything that you use is going to be on this here. That's going to be the new currency. And when you go into the entomology of Karagma, it goes into G5482, which is Karax, a pale stake or palisade. That palisade there is referring to the needle that they, that they use to insert this uh, C-hip inside you. So you take this, you're going to be destroyed. There's no repentance for taking that. Yes, there's no repentance. People say they don't believe in it. Regardless if you believe it or not, you take it, you're going to be destroyed. You cannot take that and then think when the Lord comes back, you can cut it out. And then just ask for forgiveness. No. You took it. You're condemned. You're going to be destroyed. All right. It says Karax. A pale stake or palisade. You see. When you go into the entomology of G5482. Which is Karax. It goes into G1125. Which is Grafo. Right. And it says what. A delinate or form of letter on a tablet. Parchment. Paper. Or other material. So this is a physical thing. That's being placed here. That's getting ready to be established. This is a physical thing. This is Esau's system, right? This is his beast system that he's placing that he's going to make mandatory, which will be the new currency. Because right now we're on fiat currency. And fiat currency, if you don't know, is dollar bills, nickels, dimes, quarters, right? The $100 bills, $50 bills, $20 bills, 10, uh, what's that? You got $10 bills, $5 bills. Dollar bills, whatever, etc. That's fiat currency, right? But now it's going into a digital currency, a central digital currency. This is this is going to be the new system because they got to get all the countries out of debt. You go to usdebtclock.org, all the countries is in trillions of dollars in debt. So they have to reset the system and start a new system to get all the countries out of debt, even America. So that that new system is going to be that CBDC known as the CHIP. Okay, which is his beast system. Revelation 13, 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, it says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. 
and his number is 603 score six. Now, when you go into 303 score six, it goes into G5516, which is high size stigma, right? Strong's G5516. High Xi Stigma. Chi Xi Stigma. See? High Psi Stigma. Now, when you go into the entomology of High Psi Stigma, which is G4742, is Stigma, right? Strong's G4742 Stigma. Stigma. It says a mark pricked in or branded upon the body, right? To ancient or it or oriental or oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked, cut into into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belonged to, and there were even some devotes to stamp themselves in a way with the token of their god. So he's being branded by Esau. You're being branded. With his name. You're being marked with his name. Right? You're being marked with his name. Which is what? This right here. This is his branding. This is his mark here. You're being marked with his name. Now the elect, they're going to be they're going to be marked with the Lord's name. Right? Revelations 14 and 1. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion and... With him, 144,000. Now, this is talking about the 144,000 is the elect, which is the elect men. The 144,000 is all the elect men, but you have the men, women, and children under that. That's the elect, which goes to the numerous multitude, which is also put in there with the speckled birds, the speckled bird Israelites, right? They're also in that numerous multitude of being the elect, okay? So, that's what that's referring to there. The 144,000 is referring to all the elect men, which is going to be the cabinet of the judgment of the kingdom of heaven. They're going to be the judges of heaven, right? Which the scriptures mention that, the, 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 of the elect, right? And it says, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Now, what's that, what's that written of their foreheads there? That sealing, that spiritual mark that they're going to receive, right? That spiritual uh, mark that they're, that they're going to receive, all right? And let me get that. I'm going to call that brother back in a minute. Um... Like it says, uh, let me get it. Um, I kind of forgot where I was going to go now. I got distracted. Uh, Revelation 7, Salakia. Revelation 7 and 3, it says, Saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Verse 4, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000. Right of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So this ain't talking about because you got those that say this is just these are the believers here. This is not talking about the believers. This is talking about the actual twelve tribes of the nation of Israel being sealed, uh, twelve thousand each, as you can read from verse five all the way down. Okay, this is talking about each tribe being sealed, uh, uh twelve thousand each. Right, uh, twelve thousand each, which is this is mentioning all the elect men, which is that hundred, which which is that uh elect there, right? But you have the numerous multitude that's under that, the men, women, and children under that. Because when you go to verse 9, it says it right here. And this I beheld alone, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And this is this is talking about the, the, the numerous multitude, right? The numerous multitude. Um you know, the uh, the elect, you had the 144,000 and you got the men, women and children under that. OK, the great multitude. Right. So you got the you got the elect, the 144,000. You had the men, women and children under that, which is the elect. Also, the speckled birds, that's all put in that great multitude, that numerous multitude there. You see that? So this is talking about the elect here. They're going to be sealed with that with that. Uh, let me get it. Um, Ezekiel nine and uh, four real quick and then we'll go back to that. Kind of went off topic a little bit, but I just want to get this part so people can know the difference between the MOTB and receiving the, the spiritual one. Okay, the spiritual, okay, the spiritual mark. Okay, Ezekiel 9 and 4, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon their foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry 
for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And this is the spiritual mark that's going to be given to the elect, right? Which is that Tawa there, that Tawa, right? See, the Tawa there. You see that? The Tawa. It says desire mark, mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. This is the spiritual mark here that's going to be for the elect. They're going to be sealed it and they're going to be sealed. They're going to be marked with the knowing of the name of the Lord, right? They're going to be sealed with the, with the mark of the knowing of the name of the Lord. Let's get out that St. John real quick. St. John 1 and uh, 29, right? It says the next day, this is John the Baptist speaking. It says the next day, John, see if you shy coming unto him and said, behold, the lamb of the most high, which taketh away the sins, sin of the world. You see that? And when you go into the meaning of that word world there, it goes into government constitution, which goes to G2889, which is cosmos. That's that John 316. That's talking about the Israelites, the elect, right? That's talking about the Israelites. It says the next day, John, see if. Yahweh Shai coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High. Yahweh Shai is that Lamb, which is in Revelations uh, 14 and 1, which is also for John 1 and 29. It says, Which taketh away the sins of the world. Right? So this is talking about, uh, this is talking about Yahweh Shai and the elect right here. Okay? The elect. This is, this is talking about Yahweh Shai and the elect right here. The elect is going to be delivered. The elect is going to be sealed. All right? Now, getting back to the main point, because I went off topic a little bit, just wanted to bring that out. So when you go here and it talks about verse 18, Revelation 13, 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have let him that have, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and and his number is six hundred three score six. That goes into high size stigma. You go into etymology of high size stigma, stigma. So it's a it's a physical thing there. That's not spiritual. That's a physical thing there. Revelation 14. And verse 11, and it says, and the smoke of torment, it says, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And this is after America right here. This is after America is destroyed. It's going to be a, 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 an ascendant of smoke forever because America is going to be destroyed. Right. And it says, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image. That's going to that beast system there. Right. It says, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name because you're going to have those that's going to comply to Esau's system his beast system but everybody's not going to get this here everybody's not going to get this this is going to cause a lot of upwars a lot of civil unrest right this is going to cause a lot of upwars a lot of civil unrest everybody's not going to get this here everybody's not going to take this so it's going to cause to a lot of mayhem and etc okay but you're going to have those that's going to comply and they're going to receive Esau's name they're going to be marked with Esau's name which is this right here this is that marking of Esau's name. Okay. This is his beast system. So if you take this, you're going to be destroyed. That's what verse 9 was talking about. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his, his, his system, you bow down and comply to this system. You take this here. You think, okay, I'm taking this here. I'm going to be good. You're going to be destroyed. When the Lord come back, you're going to be destroyed. There's no repentance for taking that. So you condemning yourself. Of receiving salvation if you comply to that system, right? And it says, and the Lord, it says like it says, and a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. So notice it said hand there. It doesn't matter if you get in your right hand, your left hand, your bicep, your six pack, your ab, your forehead. You get you get this implemented anywhere in your body, you're gonna be destroyed by the Lord. There's no repentance for it. Yes, you are going to be destroyed by the Lord. Verse 10 states it. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured into, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation. His, 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 his wrath. You're going to feel the righteous judgment of the Lord. His indignation. His wrath. Right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. And the holy angels and the Lamb, that's the holy angels, which is going to come back with Yahweh Shai and those chariots. And you're going to have the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. He's going to come back as a sharp sickle, which is mentioned right here. And I'll just read that for that for proof. Yahweh Shai is coming back and he's going to come back in the biggest chariot ever with the angels with them. And they're going to tear stuff up too. Revelation 14 and 14. And I looked and beheld a white cloud and upon the cloud... One set like unto the Son of Man, having a having his head, having his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. Yahweh Shai is coming with that judgment with them chariots, and they're gonna tear stuff up here. Yahweh Shai and the angels are gonna tear stuff up here. They're gonna come in that sharp sickle. You can read down 
but I'm not going to read all that. But I just wanted to prove that. And that's what that's going into. The Lord's going to come back and he's going to do judgment. He's going to gather his elect. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be delivered. And the Lord's going to tear stuff up here. This place is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear destruction. You have a lot of mayhem and calamities that's going to come upon this earth. That's going to come upon this place called America. All right. Let's wrap this up. Revelation 20 and 4 is Revelation 20 and 4. It says, And I saw the thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. A lot of us are going to be put to death because we're not going to comply to this here. We're not going to, we're not going to bow down to this here. We know what this is here. We know what this is here. So we're not, we're not going to comply to this. And a lot of us are going to be taken to those concentration camps, and we're going to be put to death. Those that reject it, to reject to take this, they're going to be beheaded. They're going to be guillotined. They're going to be put to death. But guess what? Being put to death and guillotine is not bad. That's a righteous thing because you're dying for the Lord. But if you comply to the system and you take that, you will be destroyed by the Lord. There's no repentance for taking that. So you would want to die for the Lord because you'll be delivered. But if you... Be afraid and, and bow down to that beast system and comply to that and take it and just be like, forget it, man. I'm just going to take it. You're going to be destroyed then. It says, we're beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word and for the word of the Most High, which had not worshipped the beast. You see that? Neither his image. They didn't comply to the system. They didn't They didn't uh, comply to the beast system. They didn't, they didn't uh, follow suit. So they were what? They were beheaded. They were put to death. Right. It says neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. They didn't take it. So they were put to death. And that's what's going to happen. A lot of us are going to be put to death because we're going to reject the order. That's the new world order. All right. We're going to reject that hour of temptation, which is this right here. We're not going to take this. So due to not taking it, you're going to be put to death. But that's a righteous act because you're dying for the Lord. You know what this is. We know what this is. We know the end result of taking that. So a lot of us ain't going to take it. It says, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their heads, and they reigned and lived with Yahweh a thousand years. So there you go. This is a future prophecy. So you're gonna have a you're gonna have to make a choice during that time. If you are around in that time, either you're gonna either you're gonna follow suit with the Lord and be on the Lord's side and be put to death, right? Rehearse that's a that's a righteous act because you're dying for the Lord, or you're gonna lose the faith, fall into this this system here, take it and receive the judgment of the Lord and be destroyed. So you don't have a choice. Either you're going to die for righteousness sake for the Lord, right? Rebelling against this beast system or losing the faith, uh, uh, falling into this beast system, following suit and taking the MOTB. But if you take that MOTB, you're going to be destroyed regardless if you believe in it or not. People keep saying, I don't believe in that. Regardless if you believe in this or not, you take it and you're a so-called Negro Hispanic named Marganian, you're going to be destroyed when the Lord come back. There's no repentance for taking the MOTB. You took it. That's your judgment. You're going to be destroyed. Point blank period. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. On to the next one. Shalom.